Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing the latest addition to my handbag collection and adding up another vintage designer piece. Y'all, I am obsessed with eBay now. I finally get the hype and it's absolutely incredible if you're looking for vintage designer pieces. Um, I can't believe I'm this late to the game because I found so many great bags that I'm just so excited about on eBay from Japanese sellers. So in this video, we will go over my new bag as well as what fits and just some general first impressions. So with a little close up and I try to get as much dog hair off of this white couch as possible. So I apologize if y'all see some dog hair, but black dog in the middle of summer, it's kind of hard to like keep her from shedding. Um, but anyways, this is the Louis Vuitton Epi Leather Riviera Tote. I am absolutely in love. The moment I opened this bag, I just, I could not believe the quality. I could not believe the condition on the exterior of this bag because it's just absolutely incredible um like you if i didn't look inside to me this looks like a brand new bag um there is some scuffs on the bottom uh and by some i mean we have this right here which is just a general like wear and tear for the bag i'm not really too concerned about these um especially because of how like great condition this bag is just in general um, this bag does come with a luggage tag. The seller did include a non Louis Vuitton um, holder, which I really love. Like, I think this is a really smart idea. I don't know why I've never thought of like adding a little clasp. So that way it's not like annoyingly like hanging off to the side. If you have a luggage tag on things, I think you know what I mean. Um, but I love this and it makes the luggage tag fit um, a lot better. And so here's an up close look of the luggage tag. And yeah, I'm again, just obsessed with this bag. Donna Epi Leather is my absolute favorite. I actually purchased this so that I could use it for consulting because it matches my consulting agenda for one, because I have the Epi Leather, um, GM agenda from Louis Vuitton. That's my consulting, but I also just think it's more like discreet, um, a little, you know, more low key than my Chanel because you just have like the CCs right here. And I don't know, I just absolutely love it. I think this was like the original on the go tote because of the base and then mixed with the, I think, I think I'm thinking of the favorite for the top. I don't know. Either way, I just love this design. I think it's beautiful. This bag has a front pocket up here and we'll experiment with what fits in here as well. You, of course, have your little LV etched in here. And then smooth leather up top. The interior is where it needs a little bit of love, but it's not horrible. If you saw my Gucci unboxing videos, um, I had to completely like redo um, and clean out those bags. Um, this one, it's not needed. It is like slightly sticky, but it's just general, like, you know, this is a 30 year old bag type of wear. And I'm going to get an organizer for this and put it in so I'm not too concerned with like the base or anything. Um, the only other thing that's like a flaw that the seller highlighted is that the zipper um, kind of gets like stuck a little bit and it's not smooth. And so I want to experiment with that and see how I can get that to improve. But yeah, overall, I think this bag's incredible. You have two pockets on the interior and then these slots, which I don't know what they're really for, to be honest with you. I'm not going to be using them, so it doesn't matter. Again, I'll have that organizer. Um, but then you also have two additional slots over here. So you have all of this and then there's just so much room in this bag and you like can't, I feel like you can't really tell um, by the outside. It does expand all the way. So again, similar to like that on the go. So if you need to have like stuff this bag and keep it open, you can do that. So that's one thing that I really like about it. 
um, and then it will fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro, which we'll get into in just a bit. So as for dimensions, the seller listed this as 13 to 14 inches in width, six inches in depth, and approximately nine and a half inches in length. And so um, it's a fairly like good size tote slash handbag. It's very similar to the surf tote. Um, and I think the medium on the go, it's probably slightly longer, but I love the size. I think it's perfect for work and be, especially since it's very, you know, low key with the Epi leather and they've just, they have so many on Amazon or not Amazon. I'm sorry. On eBay. Um, I couldn't believe it. So you can definitely find one that might be like in a little bit better condition on the interior, but honestly, I think this is perfect. I spent $150 on this piece. I think that's incredible, especially for the condition because it's a vintage Louis Vuitton bag. I did get it authenticated. So yes, eBay um, has authenticated sellers. Um, Japan is known apparently for um, the customs to not, apparently they have this like verification process where they don't ship out um, like counterfeit products. And so you can somewhat guarantee that if it's coming from Japan, uh, that's why everybody looks for Japanese sellers on eBay. I learned and like looked up and it looks pretty legit. Um, but I still, just in case, wanted to get a another, you know, eyes on the bag just for fun. And it was authenticated. So it is 100% authentic slash real. So that's all that matters. And I got it for $150, which is absolutely insane. Um, especially just for how amazing this bag looks. And I think this is a piece that I will definitely always have in my collection because this is definitely going to be my, like my go-to, not only consulting, but like work whenever I have to go in office or we go to a conference at the end of the year. Um, I'm definitely going to be bringing this bag because I think it's absolutely perfect. And then I've seen on, I think it was Instagram, a few people just attach straps to here if you want to add, make it a crossbody. So I think I'll definitely try that out as well. But yeah, overall obsessed and in love with this bag. I might even bring it to residency at the end of the year. So that's a little overview description. Oh, and I'm sorry, the um, handle drops, I think is five inches from what it said. Um, it does fit like on the crook of my arm very well. And I'm um, definitely not over the shoulder, but it was definitely comfortable. So that is an overview. And now let's start trying some items in here. So I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro from work and we're gonna throw this in here. So this is how this fits. And so something to note is that um, it does like come in a bit. And so when it closes, let me turn this over. You can definitely fit the MacBook Pro in here but just be mindful that um, if you fill it up all the way across here, you can't zip it, but um, you can still use the zipper with the MacBook Pro inside of here if there's not too much over here because it does um, close together and make like a triangle shape. So that is just something to note. Um, I will grab my planner and show y'all how I just plan on using this bag um, to give y'all an idea of what fits. So this is my Louis Vuitton GM agenda that matches. Again, just look at that combo. I know the sun's kind of right there, but I just love this combo so much. And it looks like you can fit this vertically. How it, if you can close it vertically, looks like you can, but I wanna try it with other items before we do. So I'm putting that in and then we're gonna add in a sunglasses case. Um, we're, let's add in my key holder from Louis Vuitton and let's close it. And then let's add in my Chanel card holder, which is my wallet. Okay. So here's how everything looks from here. And then let me try and close it. And it does close. Sorry guys, I'm filming this with my phone because I've lost my SD card and I'm waiting for anyone to come in, but I wanted to film this video. Um, but it does close with the agenda in here. And let me show y'all how the zipper looks to give you an idea. So this isn't because it's stuffed, it's just like how the zipper is. 
And again, I'm gonna try and figure out a way to fix that. But yeah, it fits in vertically, so it'll definitely fit in on its side, you know, a lot better. Um, but this is everything that I would really need to put in here. And so I'm really excited about this. So yeah, that is what fits in here. And first look of my new bag. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.